Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be showing you the studio, the Studio Tour 1.0, hopefully it's test on 1.0, so let's get started. First, on the outside we got a lot of security, as you can see, barbed wire, spikes over there, <laughs> a lot of dangerous stuff, and where my family hangs clothes for them to dry, and here's the door, let's close it super quick. There we go. Still the Fallout 4 poster, and then all the cleaning equipment and alcohol, everything that you would need to have a party. Then the first thing you see when you enter is this to clean your feet. It says Santiago, that's why I selected this. <laughs> and then we got a chair that nobody wanted in the house, so I left it right here. Then we got the YouTube play button, the silver button. I cannot go closer because the microphone, well, that I'm holding in my hands, doesn't go further. Then we got an Iron Man, there a Lego Iron Man, the Xbox Series S box, just decoration for when I'm sitting in the desk, so you guys can see in the background. There's an AC unit right there, because if not, well, I'm going to die at a heat stroke. Here's all the graphics cards. The 750Ti, the 1030, 1052 gigs, RX 570, 1050Ti, and the Air Duster. There is also a guitar and two other chairs that nobody wants in the house. So I took them to put cables through them. As you can see, a lot of nice cable management that I totally didn't do before making this video, just to for it to look cool. Here's the testing PC, so this is where I put the graphics cards to test them. It's an i3 10100F, 4 cores, 8 threads, 16 gigs of RAM, NVMe SSD. Here's the 6050 Super, this is the last one I was testing. And that Western Digital 1TB SSD for games to be installed there. Here's all the connections. Here's the Xbox Series S. The Xbox One S that doesn't have a work in this drive, I bought it used, but it was cheap. Then we also got the main computer, the streaming PC. This rocks a Ryzen 5 3600, a GTX 1650 4GB, and an Evermedia Live Gamer 4K capture card. So yeah, this is what I use to do everything. It has 16GB of RAM on the channel, for real this time. And as you can see, there's a lot of cables. Don't look at my cables, please. So yeah, those cables everywhere. So from the capture card to either the consoles or the other computer, that's how I capture the um, all the graphical stuff that you see in the live stream. That's why I can turn off this computer while I'm making live stream with this one. So in this monitor, what will show up is what is connected to the capture card. And on this one, well, it's the main computer. So we got a 27 inch 4K monitor. Actually, this is a 27 inch 4K monitor and I have the Xbox Series S hooked in right now. And at the left, we got a 24 inch 1080p 144 Hertz monitor. And here's my webcam. I just got a Logitech Brio 4K webcam. It can also do 1080p 60, which I'll be experimenting with <laughs> in the live stream. And let me show you super quick what I have on the PC. Right now I'm working on a Matrix video, actually, <laughs> which is the Unreal Engine 5 demo. I'm testing the Series S performance. And here's the live stream, what I use. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> so that's what I see when I talk to you guys. I see myself at 60 frames. You probably are watching this at 30 because I'm lazy. So let's go back. So this is basically what I see when I'm live streaming. Then on the back right here, we got a speaker, very basic, wireless when I'm watching something. I like to use this instead of headphones. Microfiber cloth to clean the monitors. There's also this to light my face up. I'm sorry, I was not speaking to the microphone. Here are some tools, some useful stuff. There's also a thermal paste. And right here, we got boxes for everything and some cable ties to put wires together. So yeah, also a DualShock 4 controller if I ever need to use it, my water bottle, my headphones, and a cable to connect the headphones to my microphone, which I'll show you right now. This is the, also the AC's um, remote. 
to turn it on and off. And right here in the desk, we got an MX Keys keyboard, which is super useful because I'm using two computers. It lights up when you put your hand over it. It has a battery and it can be recharged through USB Type-C, which is great. And just by pressing a button, I can swap between computers and it has Bluetooth support, which this makes it possible to have uh, those two computers working at once. And then on my mice, we got two G502s. This one is the special edition and this is the the League of Legends edition thing. I mean, I don't really play League of Legends. I like the contrasting colors. So I said, okay, I want one of each color, which was fine, one for each computer. So I don't have to play around with software. And there's another, yet another Xbox controller. I had this one before buying the Xboxes because I like the feel on my hands. And there's also right here, right to the mice, um, USB-C cable to recharge my phone, my, my keyboard, all the good stuff, and a face mask, let's put that away. I love my Spider-Man mouse pad and the mouse pad that came before this one is right there doing nothing. So yeah, that's basically the studio. There's also a window where you can see the back of my house and my reflection, hi, RTX on. And now I'm going to show you a little bit of the outside without me talking much. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the studio. So let's head outside super quick. And one thing I forgot to mention, here's the microphone I'm using, the Jetty X. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this studio tour. If I ever upgrade something, I'll let you know in the, in the description. There will be a link for that. You can also see my previous room tours. I finally have a place to just do YouTube instead of waking up and being next to a computer. It kind of messes with you. You're walking all the time. So yeah, if you have the chance to do something like this with whatever you're doing on the internet, content creation, office work, whatever, working from home, if you can have a separate room like this, this used to be a place where we stored garbage, basically things that nobody was using. Please do try to rebuild it into something else. It really changes how you handle your everyday life. So yeah, I'm not all the time doing something in the computer, which is great. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe if you like what you saw. And if you want to see how my room was before, before moving everything in here, I have a lot of space now, even space to, I don't know, I have to put some furniture there, I think. Maybe a, a sofa or something. Don't look at me like that. I can see you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for making this possible. Love you all. Thank you. There's nobody here. Only me and the trash. <laughs>